You are for a church and bazaar TV, said the Diane. And I asked from country and Ponya Copon with the Amaya. When you say, I did just see the Nay, Tetia Mamre, and Tetia Pan, and Eddie Bremo. Now, and they all penny beer. Then I programmed that. The beer maker said, Oh, pet, Tetia Pan, and Anna Mona, a befaso, a beam who in cheer. I just said, Oh, caught one hour over in him, dear, oh, whom I found. I'm going to make Opan na ayan na namo faso e de e bo e bra na na opanyini a me be da na di no me da na di sisi a me pese e ko commercial break ni ya ba na mada me panyini na adi a chere mo ye twa e ho ba sisi a sema ye ba ro ba na na ye kwa ye ba ro ro ika buta wo ye ye ba ro ye ba ro na na ye kwa ye ba ro ika Et as a soldier break chain, eh? Missy Sabri. Said the Yakwana make and Miss Ned Yaba or Panini be a winning deal or Titiaquan, whom any who no money or quire, we are see we a far so who a buyer, so only by we will win a new deer. Now, and you'll be a cake, said me and the grandmaster, the Biamican as my friend Toto Sao Toto Sao, Sao Panini or Panini be a ban of whom who no more. If we are see. So betty we are see or you be a what quad that was I name my women and it in any dealing did to to so I hope say baby and term watch to to so now say you can't to to so what to to nature I say the two dimension a yeah when I'm off her and then who move up on will be a what in the air was I when I'm off on any home more fun you can't see to to so I now see children no now see a battle Africa spirituality yeah se okwa na na nkante te na na no faso a omu hu na omu nchi omu yi musuo oha kwada na na okwa na ye na na no mutumi faso hu ni se ye te habo we te habo we kan bo mu a etumi san yare we obi akosa ha we mu ye ye se ni ye se ya ye be san ni pa ni yare me pese mi nya spirit ni ni nante okwa a obe faso a obe ko hu hu ma fam na ode sa tumi die na basa ase we so we ni juma dia Opanyini ya ene yababe ni interview ni odi. Na afi enso, ni pebiyana wede ti asa asi wese no. Obe ti miya mwongu ni se. Ene, uye se na uye se ya. Edi mwusu obe brao. Ene uye se na uye se ya. Edi nisura be brao. Men pese me kasa anebe wabi bire no. Mbako opanyini ni ho. Na madana diya chero. Ono asu be bo ni di. Mwa ene ya mo festa ma mo fe ene na. Eni jisem ni se. Eni araho se be wumunusu se. Onte akan kasa. Kasa okan eh brofo kasa. Eni ti no me kwa nukwa me isu bro for kasa money mo se zan tv dia na ka ye nyaan anka ye be isu akan kasa ene kasa e wo africa ha nanso akoba ne se onte akan kasa kasa oti e ever kasa me so me nti ever kasa nti de be bia no gisi e ka kwasi buru ni kasa nti me kwen pino panyini na macha no to we ya go good afternoon good afternoon how is life oh everything is fine okay. everything is fine yes okay okay We've been interviewing you for quite a while, mm -hmm. and I know not everybody is aware of you, so I would like you to mention your name to my viewers once again. Okay. Now, my name is Toto Sao. Toto Sao. Yes, Toto yeah. Sao is my name. All right. Yes. So, what are your capabilities? What, what can you do to help humans? Before we come to the topic that we are mm -hmm. here to discuss today. Well, by the grace of the loss of nature, All right. the loss behind the whole universe, okay. the loss within the universe, All right. and including everything okay. in nature. All right. uh, we are trying our best to help the individuals okay. to come back to their feet. All right. I mean, uh, what I'm saying, trying to say is that uh, 
be it spiritual problems okay. or material problems okay. we are here to help you all right yes all whatever right. problem you say worry problem yeah marriage marriage problem, problem. Right. childbirth whatever issue it is okay. life issues we can take care of it for all you right. okay that's not what we are here for but you have to introduce us yourself sure. and i've already introduced you to my viewers today we are going to talk about personal problems our personal problems how to solve our personal problems. this is what people are facing today a lot of specialists are giving out different comments different explanation what is how do we solve like our personal problem how do we solve our personal problem if i say personal problem people are facing like as you said earlier marriage difficulties money issue uh even how to know their background is quite you know challenges to others so the question that i'm going to ask today is uh, are our problems caused by nature thank you all right uh, you see nature as it is we cannot separate ourselves from nature okay so if you say nature caused our problem or is the one responsible for oh, you know okay. our woes okay uh, i'm going to say that uh, yes and no all right because yes because nature has its own destructive forces okay whether you like it or not with nature has its own destructive forces all right things like tsunami okay earthquake all right. and all of that they are all forces that disturb nature okay and disturb us as well so and no because uh most of the problems we cause it ourselves okay so you know once you are born uh, the very law and order okay the very law and order that was used in making you you have to understand this law and order okay you see everything in this universe is established on a certain foundations certain fundamentals okay so once these fundamentals are weak you are weak so if you are in this life you don't know yourself right. you don't you, you you let's just assume that okay you sleep you wake up the next morning yeah and you started doing unnecessary things how many of us today that if you say okay we wake up from bed we are conscious of what we do from morning till okay. evening we we are not trying to be conscious okay. so we by doing that we attract a whole lot of problems okay. so most of the things that are happening to us today caused by ourselves so it is not like we are not aware of what is happening to us or the okay. problems that are befalling us it, 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 it isn't that we we don't know we know okay but just that we want to remain in the dark we don't want to be conscious of ourselves yeah. so because of some of these attitude or behaviors that lifestyle that we are living is causing a whole lot of problems okay and if we say problems it can be physical problem it can be mental problem it can be spiritual it can be emotional. material problem yeah. motion emotional and all of that they are all problems so okay. and all of this mind you once you are you were born as a child okay you you were born in a very good order all right why is it that if you are reach a certain age okay. then problems begin to fall yeah why it's a question yes because the various law and order that was used in making us okay. we we turn our back against them wow you understand so most of the problems that we are facing today we cause it ourselves okay you made mention that uh, i'll come i'll still come back to the question but i want to ask this question from the explanation that you gave that uh we are the cause of our problems so can we also say that some of our problems are caused by people who are closer to us are they responsible for our problems yes you see people close to you yeah. can give you problem 
can give you sleepless nights. Oh. Even your children, oh. they can give you problems. Okay. Your wife, your husband, they can give you sleepless nights. All right. Your workplace, your spiritual center, everywhere can give you a problem. problem. So we just have to be conscious on our own. Okay. Once you are conscious, you'll be able to break through whatever barrier falls before you. So then, how can we avoid having problems? You see, it's a very big issue. All right. How can we avoid having problems? Yeah. Our forefathers laid down various tools that we can use in terms of these challenges. Okay. So, example, looking at what we call a fan. All right. Looking at what we call a fan. Okay. The word EFA is a system that will make you have peace of mind. Oh, yeah. So the word EFA means something that is calm. with no problem. Oh, yeah. That is calm, okay. like a candle in a windless room. Oh, yeah. So you know, somebody who is free from every problem okay. is called EFA. So our forefathers put down a fan system okay. for us to be able to understand the laws and mechanism of nature okay once we understand the laws and mechanism of nature okay. once we understand this creative laws okay. it means that where you are yeah your own inner laws okay. that was used to make you uh, do you know it do you have contact with them no. well, how are you using them if you know it okay. so once you don't know them you are lost if problems are coming you didn't even know how to handle or solve them. Okay. So, EFA is a system that our ancient fathers set for us to be able to use and make a breakthrough. Okay. So, once you are, you have a knowledge under EFA, right. or you, you know about EFA, okay. it means that EFA will indicate or let tell you your various Problem. energies okay. your the law that was used to form you okay. so once you know this law you know how to play with it okay you know the question you ask is a very big question yeah so for somebody to have a very peaceful mind okay to have uh, uh, to to be able to be free from disease to be able to be free from most or all of their life problem yeah. all of this okay. so it means that at the end of the day we have to come back to our roots okay. all of us all of us okay. the africans yeah those whom and those in the diaspora all, right. all of us we must it's a must okay we must come back we have to come back to our roots all right we must okay. so coming back to our roots and realizing that we have a fund that can solve every problem okay Every problem that we have, a fan is there to solve it. Oh. A fan can be able to tell you your past, your present, and your future. Oh. A fan can be able to tell you uh, the, the circumstances of your birth. Okay. How you came into this life. A fan is there to tell you oh. and even show you the way. That is why we call it only. But the word Poli is an is every word meaning po is to see. Okay. The word li All right. is path. Okay. So see your path. Okay. So a fan will give you your creative energy. Okay. And then direct you that this is where you have to pass right. for you to have freedom All right. in okay. this universe. Okay. So we all must come back to a fan okay. and understand a fan. A fan is not voodoo. Okay. It's a wisdom. It's a knowledge system that the whole universe came from okay you cannot mention the whole universe without mentioning a fan uh -huh. if you take a fan away the whole universe will vanish okay because the whole universe came out of a fan right. there is no system anywhere that talk about the whole of life and the whole of nature or the whole universe both material world and the spiritual world than a fan okay a fan is responsible for all of that okay since we are we are we are learning something about uh, how to solve our problems. Okay, let me ask this question. Why are there many health problems these days? Health problems? Yeah. Well, you see, those days, our forefathers, you see them living 
hundred and something. Yes. And they, they were very strong. Yeah. Today, our lifestyle, the food we are eating. Okay. We are copying things that are not in our nature. Yeah. Things that are not in our world. All right. We are copying such things and we are practicing them and we are we are even trying to perfect these things than the people who are introducing it to us. Okay. So these diseases, where are they coming from? Our lifestyles, our drinking, our seeing. You see, our forefathers used to see that used to say that what you see is problem. Okay. Can bring you good and can bring you death. Yeah. It means that whatever you see, you can get a good thing out of it or you can inherit a very bad energy out of it. Right. What you hear, what enter into your ears can create problem or can give you good energy. How? Whatever you say, you can get life, you can get death out okay. of it. Okay. Whatever you eat, whatever you smell. Okay. So it means that man, these are our senses. You have to control them very well. So whatever you see, see, let me tell you, it's not everything in this life that you can see with your eyes. Right. This go to heaven and come down. Okay. If you disagree with this, if you turn your back against this, your ancient knowledge, then you are lost forever. Right. Let me tell you, it's not everything that you see. There are things that are not on your body. If I, I, I hope yeah, you know what I'm that, talking about. Path. There are things that are not Ooh. on your path. Yeah. A fan. So if I say a fan, this is not just a fan. This is what so the instrument the we use for divination. Okay. To yes. So uh, everything that, that we are attracting, okay. we see, we get them through our sight. Okay. Our hearing, okay. our smelling, okay. our eating, okay. our touching. All right. You understand? Yeah. These are the senses that we get problem through. Okay. There is no problem that you are going to get that will not come through these senses that I have just mentioned. Yeah. So anything, any disease that you have today is either through food, through smell, you smell in something, you sneeze in something, you, you listen to something, you saw something. These are what cause problems in the system. Okay, let me ask this question. How effective are uh, traditional spiritual practices in handling problems? In our own perspective, okay. in African way. All right. How effective yeah. are traditional, traditional spiritual, spiritual practices, practices in handling our problems? Problem. How effective yeah. are they? Okay. How effective our, our traditional system in handling our problem? Yeah. How effective are they? Very, 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 very effective. Very, very, very effective. Oh. Okay. If today yeah. you realize that things are not good for you. Okay. If you realize that if you pick stone, stone will fall. If you take a rope, rope will tear. Whatever you touch, you are not succeeding. Okay. Marriage problem, work problem, health problem, financial, financial, childbirth, whatever problem we have. Okay. You see, the system that can effectively solve these challenges okay. are the African spiritual practices system. Okay. So now the African child yeah. is born with law and order okay. of nature. Okay. And this law and order that you were born with, okay. you need to have it. You need to know it. Okay. And here is the case, we don't know it. And you are struggling. Okay. You catch you are catch up in serious problem. Okay. So how can you solve these things? Yeah. Coming back. You have to come back to the system. Because see, we'll be talking about ancestral connection. 
how you can connect to your ancestors okay for you to get a benefit out of it okay because at the end of the day you came into a family and that family mind you excuse my language if you die and you are coming back into this life you will come back into your family you will not come into my family oh you do you know that people of african indigen yeah who were born and bled at you. Yes. Some of them wish they were born in Europe. It's true. They were born in America. A lot. A lot, lot, lot. Especially Please. The youth today. It is or oh, it was never a mistake okay. for you to be a child of Africa. It was never a mistake. Okay it was the best thing that can ever happen to you in this life wow. is you are an african okay so the system that you can use to solve your problem is the african spiritual system because that is what you were born with and what is the african spiritual system see african spiritual system is knowledge it's wisdom. Okay. It's understanding how the creative energies of nature work. You understand? Yeah. Let me tell you something. There is this thing that you guys have been calling voodoo, 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 yeah. that everybody is afraid of. Okay. What is voodoo and what is the meaning? Uh, last time I was telling you. Yeah. The word voodoo is the meaning. The word voodoo is every word. Yeah. Meaning, vo is to be free. Okay. Do. It's a state or country. You see, okay. the whole of you, you are state on your own. So I can call you Du. Okay. You are state on your own. Okay. So if you are talking about voodoo, it means that the state should be free okay. or a free country. Oh. You understand? Yeah. So these energies, because they help solve problems, okay. they help free a whole nation. Okay. Or let, let us zoom. If you say your head is paining you yeah. and you, you gather some herbs yeah. and you apply it yeah. and the headache is gone, are you free? You are free. You are free. Yeah. So the act upon which you got the cure. You got the cure is voodoo. Okay. You have freed yourself from the the ailment, okay. from the heart problem, okay. from the eye problem, okay. from the kidney, the lung whatever problem you are facing okay. once you use this herb and this herb okay. you boil it or you put it together you squeeze it you do whatever you, you use to clean your body whatever you used to do okay. with it and it heal you you okay. get healed yeah. it's what it's voodoo. voodoo it means that the sickness is no more so you are free okay and the word freeing yourself from problems is called voodoo okay now you are talking of voodoo, you are explaining voodoo, but all the explanation you are referring it to leaves, herbs, plants. But the one people are afraid of is the situation whereby you mold a statue, apply or pour blood on it, use that energy to hunt people. That is what they are afraid of. That is what they we thought will, it is voodoo. We will come back. We can handle that as a topic. Okay. So that I can dive into it and uh, break it down. Uh, what is voodoo? That thing that they we, we, we have. The deity. I will get, I don't know. You call it deity. Yeah. I don't call it deity. Okay. So I, I am calling it voodoo because it can solve problems yeah. for me. So if you want your problem to be solved, okay. you have to go the African way. So the question is how effective is the African okay. traditional system yeah. in handling our problems? problems. So your creative energy, your creative in-laws. Okay. You see, everybody is on a certain rhythm. Yeah. And this rhythm, if you don't know your rhythm, and you divert. you divert or you drop from your rhythm, what is going to happen is the entire system. Sometimes you can go to hospital, medical science will tell you that they don't know what is wrong with you. Yeah. And it is true, they will never find it. 
you can be with them until you die because the medical science is not developed yeah. to the level of effort okay. to the level to the wisdom of our forefathers okay you understand yeah. so what medical science will tell you that there is nothing wrong with you medically that is what they used to say yeah but you come home your father or your grandfather will see you and tell you you have a problem and that problem will be solved you understand okay. so these things are happening yeah they are always happening so come back home get close to yourself there is no way once you you were not born as an american or european you can never there is no way you will be born as an American or European. You will always be born as a Ghanaian or Nigerian or Eve or Akan or whatever. Wow. So we'll talk about that later. The ancestral line, the reason why everybody must go and come and okay. drop in your family line. Okay. But so what I'm trying to say is our African spiritual system is very effective in solving every problem that you have because the inner laws that you were born with, it is only the African system that can give you correct energy that can repair this system okay so if you have any system any problem within fall on the system you have home yeah. the african spiritual system yeah. is the best tool is the best system that can give you remedy okay. to any solution or problem that you have okay let me ask this question there are claims from some uh, men of god that they can heal or they can solve problems through uh, miracles is this claim uh, like does our uh, African spiritual, uh, spirituality also have these claims? Do we also have these claims in African spirituality that we can, we can solve problems through miracles? You see, there is nothing like miracle. Wow. There is nothing like a miracle. Nothing, absolutely, absolutely, nothing is called miracle in this life. Why? It's Why a word it? concocted by the white. Okay. We don't believe in miracle. Okay. See, I just told you that the whole of nature is a creative world with full of energy, creative energies. Okay. And these creative energies are playing with one another always. Okay. You understand? It's because you don't know what and what came together before oh. something happened. And you're calling it miracle. They are creative energies okay. that we know. We can see it like this okay. because you are, you, are not, you are not able to see them today because you have fall on your rhythm. You are no more an African child. Okay. You understand? Yeah. You, your mind is taken away. Your heart is taken away. Your mind, your brain, everything about you, it is only your, 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 your structure, your physical look that is here. Yeah. But your African image, your African psyche, your mental, your spiritual state, everything is taken away. Okay. You are not yourself. Come back to yourself. Then you'll be able to see that things that are happening around you, they are not miracle. They, they must happen. They exist. They exist. These energies that are, these creative energies. Yeah. Let me tell you one thing. You see, you can bring two leaves together. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. You can bring two leaves together and you join it like this. Yeah. It is going to create law and order. You understand? Yeah. It is going to create law and order. Okay. And lo this law and order, you can manipulate it and how you want it to behave or misbehave, you can regulate it. Wow. So it's because we have come low okay. from nature. That is why we are saying that miracle, miracle, nothing like miracle. Okay. Anything that happened, there is a cause. Okay. And what is causing it because we are too low from the spiritual realm, mm -hmm. we say it's a miracle. It's a miracle. It is only a lazy, excuse my language, yeah. lazy minded people who will say miracle, 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 miracle. It's no miracle. Be wise enough. Grow spiritually. Okay. Try to see what is happening. The law and order behind what is happening okay. can be known. You can know it. You can get to know it. It's not something that. Uh, you see, I'm looking into your face because uh, you, you, you are pushing me to the wall. Uh, I know. <laughs> it's true. Is it, is it a good practice to, you know, consult a spiritualist when you are in problems? You see, take a look at this. Today, yeah. looking at the whole universe, we, 
are down spiritually. It's true. So, the few people who are trying their very best, okay, they have to try and raise the other people. Okay. So, if you are in a problem that your spiritual strength, you cannot solve it yourself. Okay. You need to get to somebody who That's you think advanced, has yeah. wisdom or more advanced in terms of the problem that you have okay. to to help you yeah. so it is it is a good thing to get close to somebody who is higher than you spiritually okay. for for help okay but it doesn't mean that you should not try to raise yourself okay. because the problem you are solving you are facing yeah. can best be handled or yeah. be solved by yourself you understand yeah Understood. It can be best be solved or handled by yourself. That's what I can do my very best for you. Okay. But if you don't know and you don't understand your creative laws, the law and mechanism that was used to form you is very important to me. Okay. Today, African child, they don't know this again. Okay. So I am here to tell them, anybody who wants to know their creative law, you just come to me. I will let you know. All right. I will tell you why you are here, what you, you are here for. If you lived life here on this planet before, yeah. if this is your first time, second, third, or third time, okay. you will know. All right. Why you are here, you have to know. Okay. The energies that you have to play with. Okay. You understand? Yeah. Because you as Sambo, yeah. sitting down here, okay. you have your energy that was you to form you. You also have two other energies, okay. one on your right hand side, one on your left hand side. These two energies that in other world they call angels, angels. Yeah. these two energies, they can help you shape your destiny. Okay. They can help you shape and master and perfect your spiritual journey here on planet Earth. Okay. So, you see everybody here, we are here to grow spiritually. Okay. God is here wearing body okay. in his own creation, trying to grow and one day okay. go back okay. to Okay, this question uh, is far from the topic, but let me ask this question. You know, is sex against spirituality? Does it also cause problems in our life? See, I'm going to tell you this today. Okay. And probably most people will be hearing it for the first time. Okay. That I said earlier that Touching, okay. you can get a good thing out of it, you can get a bad thing out of it. Seeing, hearing, eating, smelling. Okay. These senses that I have mentioned, okay. you can get good or bad. other way, opposite out of it. Okay. But, you know, what you ask of touching, yeah. or what was your sex, question? Sex. sex. Yeah. Touching. Yeah. The very should I say I don't want to use that word. Okay. The the best form of touching okay. is through sex. Wow. You understand? Okay. If you are going to touch something and have spiritual, physical, whatever emotions, okay. it is through sex. Okay. That is the deepest touch okay. under the sun wow. in terms of women and women contact okay. so if i touch you like this it is not effective like okay. having sex having sex okay. you understand yeah. so that is the highest point of touching okay. and that highest point of touching touching has consequences okay. and it has spiritual ramifications okay. it has spiritual energies okay. that you can use to grow okay it can also bring you down. down because if you are overdoing it you have issues with your creative energy okay if you're overdoing it do you know that the creative energies mm -hmm. excuse me yeah the spam yeah do you know where it comes from no mm -hmm. so these things in our wisdom okay in a fan system okay the mind yeah. the human mind feed okay. on 
this things. This things. So once you are throwing it away, you are throwing it away. Okay. It will reach a time you cannot be able to memorize things the way you used to. Okay. If you begin for you begin forgetting things very quick, very easily, then you have to reduce your sexual life. Yes. Okay. Let me ask this man. The, all this the, this of late topic. It's not included, but I have to ask. They are all topic on their, their own. Their own, so yes. Let, let me just ask. You were saying that throwing it away, throwing it away. This is, you know, as we said, that we are creating, we are modifying stuff through technology. Now we've come out with something we call condom. And a lot of people are fine of using this thing, throwing their sperms away. Is it, is it offense in African spirituality? You see? We have to be careful. There are a whole lot of things we need to know. Oh. And once we know these things, we are going to be free okay. from any problem. Okay. problem. So, we will have it as a full topic. Okay. But no, I want we, you to blush it, blush it, we, so we, that we will prepare fully topic. But I have a lot of questions asking about this thing, but it won't be today. But I want you to give a brief explanation on these topics, because that is what is affecting us. It is true that uh, uh, the, the, the answer you give, that is why I, I have to... I, I said to earlier yeah. that when it comes to the various senses that I mentioned, okay. touching is one of them. Yeah. And when you are under touching, yeah. sex yeah. is the highest point of touching. Okay. And since it is the highest... You see, we have spiritual code okay. for sex, okay. for highest touching. All right. And it is a whole system on its own. Okay. See, all the touching, all the, the, the senses that I mentioned, yeah. they all have their various way of using them. No, the, the, it's a whole faculty. Okay. It's a whole system for each of them. Okay. So the, the sex they are talking about, having sex, yeah. you're wearing condom. Yeah. It is not the best. Okay. It's not the best. Okay. Our forefathers didn't use condom. Okay. They never give that solution to us. Okay. So if you're using condom and there is negative effect when you're using condom. Okay. So spiritually, you can have that highest contact for spiritual growth. Okay. And overdoing it can also let you down. Okay. Okay, this is going to be my final question because it seems the place is getting darker. How can we tell genuine spiritualists from charitans? Oh, it's difficult now. Okay. Because most of us, or every, if I say most of us, I'm talking the on behalf of everybody. everybody. It's like we are down in our reasoning. Okay. Sorry for the language. All right. But, uh, we are no more serious, we are no more clever, we are no more smart, we are no more intelligent. Right. So, we go to places without reasoning, okay. but be very alert, okay. be conscious of yourself. Okay. Any st step that you take, okay. you, you get to know who is the correct person but, and who is not the correct person. Okay. And we have good people, okay. good Spiritualists, wow. spiritual people to help. Okay. They are more. Wow. We have them all over the world. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. So, what will be your final, uh, you know, advice for the African and the African living in the diaspora? Well, it's not just those in the diaspora. Okay. Every African. All right. That it is time we come back to our homes. Back home. It is time we come back home because it is enough. We have called ourselves primitive, yeah. barbaric, yeah. satanic. Yeah. We have looked down upon our skin. Wow. Whereas this is the best skin under the sun. Oh. 
So it is time you know yourself. Okay. It is time you know who you are, okay. the energy, the creative law, and all that. That is controlling you. See, you you, you wake up today. Yes. You see people walking. What is the energy responsible, the law and order responsible for your movement, for you to be able to walk? Mm -hmm. That's the question. Do you know it? No. Yes. The energy responsible for you being walking, it is something we know. Okay. And I know it. Wow. You understand? Yeah. The energy, the reason why you give birth to a child today, in a year's time, you see this child growing. Wow. The energy responsible for this, I know. Okay. You must know. It is for all of us. So, it is because we have left the very important things that we have. Yeah. Knowledge, foundation, whole wisdom that we have. Yeah. We have left it and say we are looking for survivor we are looking for something from nowhere please over a nigma major floor a nigma major floor no joa agajaji gajani baji if you don't perfect you don't know who you are you don't know where you were born do you think you can go to the so-called heaven you will not go if you don't perfect where you were born you don't know anything about that place you want to go to where there is no place for you. you. If you go, they will suck you. You will come back here and know where you were born. You must nature there. You must know exactly what that place was made of before you can qualify to go to anywhere. So, my brothers and sisters, this is just the beginning. We will be back. All right, viewers, you say we will be back. This is what we are going to do these days. Uh, as I said earlier, he's a researcher in african spirituality not just a mere researcher going to someone to learn but he delved into spiritual realm to get knowledge to bring down energies that will help us reason for ourselves that will let us know why we are here and who we are here for uh toby i forgot you have to give out your number maybe someone may call you and you know make an inquiries or ask certain questions that we couldn't ask here so your number um, my number is uh, plus two two. Is it plus two two? Plus two three three. Plus two three three. Two four four nine one two three eight three. Okay. Plus two three three. Two four four nine one two three nine eight three. That is zero two four four ninety one. 2383 and i hope you you write it i'll write it under this thing so boys this is how our show is going to end today and you should subscribe to zion tv gh also share the videos to others so that they will know that indeed african we are getting back a uh, track to our audience system and it is not barbaric as he said that people are claiming that our ancestors were barbarians they they didn't know their left and right now that the white man is here to teach us to try uh, to to help us grow he said all these things are bullshit we are following money it is bullshit we have to know ourselves first know why we are here understand the law and order that this whole universe were made up before everything will be easy <laughs> for us so here ends our show till we meet again bye bye <laughs>